Hi everybody, this is Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to talk about the pellet stove. You know we have uh, pellet stoves here in our building, we have a couple of them. And they've been in the background of our videos and some of our viewers have taken an interest in knowing more about them. So I thought we'd take this opportunity and go over some of the features of the pellet stove, what we use them for and how they work, and try to clear up some of those questions for you. So stay tuned and today we will talk about the pellet stove. Well, a pellet stove burns compressed wood or biomass pellets. It's used to uh, create a source for heat in residential and sometimes industrial spaces. Uh, it works by slowly feeding fuel from a storage container or a hopper, they call it. And if you look in here, you can see our hopper. It takes up the whole top of this stove. And what happens is these small little compressed pellets that are made out of recycled wood and other type of fibers are fed down through with an auger system and they go on down through here and they're slowly burned. And that slowly burned area in there is called a, a, a burn pot. And it creates a constant flame that requires little or no physical adjustment. There's a blower that uh, blows the heat out of the front of these vents. Each of the pellet stoves is a little bit different. Most of them have a, uh, a control panel on the side like this one does. And it allows you to control the feed rate as well as the heat output or the fans. And most of them have an automatic ignition system. Now this one is um, about 15 years old it's in really great shape um, I bought it off Craigslist it cost me uh, about six hundred dollars and um, I've got another one upstairs that I bought brand new that cost twelve hundred dollars so you can tell that I got a significant savings on this one this one is the manual ignition as well as uh, it has a manual um, draft as well. This draft pull allows more of the exhaust to escape out the, the, the stove pipe here in the back. This is a four inch double walled pipe and there's also an intake on the other side that allows air to come in. The fuel that we burn is commonly available especially in the northeastern United States. This is called the Somerset and it runs about four dollars and fifty cents a bag. Generally we will spend four to five dollars per bag for a forty pound bag. This is made up of hundred percent hardwood and they claim less than one percent of ash and 0.5 percent fines. Um, I can't really say that that's true from bringing the ash out of this thing. I think there's a lot more than that. But uh, still, we burn about one to one and a half bags of this per day when these things are on full. And I will tell you that um, at times it does get really cold and these aren't enough. And we do have to supplement the heat with another source. We have 10 foot high ceilings and 12 foot high ceilings upstairs so that is a reason why our heat loss is so significant so with the uh, lower ceilings I'm sure that you would get better results like I said earlier this is a manual system on this one it's a little bit older but I saved a lot of money off it so it does have a manual lighting system uh, for the automatic systems, you basically just fill the hopper and you push the button and it, it lights the pellets and feeds them through and adjusts the dampener and everything else. So this one requires a little more work, but to be honest with you, I kind of like it better. It offers a little bit more control. I'll show you how to light this one. This is the dampener system. And you, you pull
pull it out to flow when you first start it up, just like a wood burner. And then once it gets burning down, then you can go ahead and close it. And uh, that keeps the uh, smoke out of your place. Now these aren't very smoky at all. There's not that much smell at all, maybe when you start it up. So that's not a real big deal. Let me open this up for you. There's a little latch here. What happens is um, the pellets sit up here and then there's a, an auger system that draws them down through and they come out here. And when they come out here, they, there's an adjustment here on the side panel and we'll go over that in a minute that adjust how many of those drop down in here at a time and uh, they'll sit here and burn and there's a blower that brings in fresh air from the outside and it gives the combustion to uh, really heat up and as they burn the, the uh, flame is controlled by the control panel on the side and then the heat is pushed out vents through here through another blower so there's actually two blowers in this one for the intake for the uh, for the flame and the other for the uh, output for the heat the uh, this model has a nice drawer and if you see down here most of them have some way to get the ash out of there and you can lift this up and, and clean this ash out of here and they usually have some tools so once a day you usually have to use these tools and kind of scrape at it and then about once every two weeks you have to clean the ashes out of the tray on the bottom other than that uh, you clean the glass now they do require some work and um, I'm not gonna say they don't because they do and, and uh, lugging 40 pound pellets two or three of them a day is a lot of work too and if you don't have anywhere to store them it can be real troublesome for you so you want to think about these things before you decide to invest but if you do, I can tell you, you're going to save some money on it. And that's the main reason why we burn them here. Uh, we've got some very large ceilings, 10 to 14 foot. Um, and the heat goes straight up. And the place is old, so it's not very well insulated. So this in combination with our other furnaces keep us warm. Um, on this particular... Uh, control panel we have the on button well, I'm going to get it started up here because I'm going to show you how to work it here and uh, this button right here controls the auger so uh, when it's in the little light comes on here and, and it just means that it's feeding pellets and that's a normal operation and if you turn that off it's going to stop feeding pellets and the stove will go off and then this one it controls the heat output and the other one controls the auger so one of them is for the blower speed and the other one is for how many pellets you're putting in at a time so what I do on this manual system is I'll just I'll just take a handful of these pellets and I'll put them down here A lot of people use fire starters and stuff like that. All that kind of stuff just costs money, so I just use these little propane torches. And I've used this one propane torch all year. <laughs> Those little fire starters can cost you two or three dollars for a little brick of them, and they'd be gone in a week. So this is how I do it. And like I said, once you start the fire, uh, the fire doesn't go out very often, at most once a day. Now these pellets do take a while to catch fire. You see I'm burning them with a torch and I don't really have that much burn on them right now. So they do take a bit to get them started. They're fairly compressed. Now if they did burn right away I would be a little suspicious of them because these are supposed to be 100% hardwood and I have gotten some that were falling apart and not very well compressed. The secret is not to buy the cheapest low quality wood pellets it does make a, a difference on your heat output as far as uh, the quality of the the actual pellets so I wouldn't skimp and uh, just go for the price like I said we 
we spent about four dollars and uh, twenty cents I think on these and you can buy them by the ton too you'll get 50 bags 40 pound bags 50 40 pound bags for about 210 to 220 dollars okay so I have my flan going now and what I like to do is just uh, keep that going for a few more a few more seconds here and get it nice and red and cherry up closed lid here and, uh, I normally set these uh, half and half the blower on half and the, the, the rate on half and, uh, I'll go ahead and close this door up and as soon as I close the door up watch what happens You can see it starts getting cherry red down there because that outside air is introduced. Okay, and then all I do is I just push this button here, which allows the pellets to start feeding. Crank it up. It'll take a couple minutes here. It might be a little bit loud. I'll turn down the blower so you can hear me. We don't really need the blower right now anyway. And with a couple minutes here, uh, we'll have a fire going, and I'll be back as soon as it lights up. It's just a matter of waiting, so hang tight, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's only been a couple minutes since we lit this fire up and let it burn down some. It's really taken off here. And you can see, hopefully, just some of the pellets that are going in. They just go in a little bit at a time. I don't know if you can see them drop down in there or not. You might be able to hear them. But I would say, you know, maybe three or four pellets drop down in there every few seconds. There you heard, heard those probably. So once you get the fire burning about this rate, I I turn the dampener back down. I just push, push this in. I've got it preset with this little collar here. So that's pretty much it and um, like I said the uh, automatic ones that you buy are, are more automated and they do all these little steps for you unlike um, this one but once you get this one going it's just a matter of uh, keeping the hopper filled and it will probably burn about one and a half hoppers in a full 24 hour period so it's not too bad. Like I said these things produce very little smoke. And, and uh, they're a lot cleaner than a, a regular wood burning stove for sure. Uh, there's te tax credits that you can take on these. I don't know if they're still in effect, but I know I was able to take tax credits on the ones that I purchased, both of them. And I think 30% of the cost of the appliance was uh, eligible for that tax credit. And the pellets themselves are also exempt from sales tax in most. Uh, in most states I know ours is so um, that's it guys that's my little spiel on the, uh, the the pellet stove I hope you enjoyed this if you're considering on getting a wood pellet stove uh, just weigh those things I told you about carrying the pellets and uh, doing some maintenance if it's something that you never want to touch or mess with I wouldn't get a pellet stove but if you don't like, mind a little bit of maintenance and the and you're looking to save some money with heat these are excellent way to go uh, some people in smaller residents will use it as their primary and only heat source I don't recommend that in a larger place especially like I'm in but uh, it's definitely a great supplement and besides that I like sitting in front of it and reading sometimes and just cozying up to the fire it uh, definitely makes a nice nice place to sit Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks to all our new subscribers, as well as the ones that have been with us through the whole way. We appreciate that. Tell your friends about us. Thumb, thumbs up our videos. Have yourself a good day. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.